What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Drop Preview. And we have the Hamburg Open this week, a clay court event, an ATP 500 event, a big event on the calendar happening this week, straight after Wimbledon. We have some big names playing in this one as well, but some big names have pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So some players that have pulled out of this one, and Duha, he's pulled out. Oje Aliasim has pulled out after making the quarterfinals of Wimbledon last week. Vucevic has also pulled out for the same reason. Karatsev has pulled out, and also Sonigo has pulled out of this one. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here. We've got eight seeds in this event, and the top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Stefano Tsitsipas, he comes in as a wild card and the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of the qualifier or Kopfer in the second round, which could be a very tough match for Steph if it is Kopfer, because remember, Kopfer almost took out Federer at the French Open. Then we've got Munev versus the wild card Kohlschreiber. Winner of that match takes on the winner of the wild card Altmaier and the number six seed Krajanovic. Then we've got the number three seed, Basilashvili. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Mute versus Bedene, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got the wild card Kun versus a qualifier. Winner of that match is going to take on either Jera or the number seven seed Struff in the second round. So the players we're watching out for, obviously we're watching out for City Pass. We're going to see how he's going to go after losing in the first round of Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. And of course, he made the French Open final and this is a clay court event. So really keen to see how Steph can maybe regain some form this week. Also keen to watch Krajanovic because he's a very good player, but we haven't seen the best of him. And this is a tournament, a smaller tournament that maybe he can shine at. And also Basilash really the number three seed. Interested to see how he does this week after he also lost in the first round of Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got Benoit Pair, the number eight seed. He takes on Barenkis in the first round. Winner of that match takes on a qualifier in the second round, no matter what, because we've got two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Then we've got Del Bonis versus another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Ramos Vinoles, in the second round. Then we've got the number five seed, Lajevic versus Puy. That is a huge first round match. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that match takes on either Maga or the qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw, stacked with qualifiers in the bottom half. Taking on Lopez, the veteran. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Corino Busta, in the second round. So players I'm watching out for in this one, got to watch out for the number two seed, Corino Busta. Hasn't really done too much this year after having a breakout season last year, making the semifinals of the US Open. So interested to see if he can maybe regain some form going through this one. Also interested to see how Lajevic does, because again, he's a player that last year and the year before was really having a breakout and has kind of fallen off the last couple of months. So interested to see how he does. And of course, you got to watch out for Benoit Pair. You never know what he's going to bring to the court. So always got to keep an eye on him. He might surprise everyone this week and have a bit of a run. So there it is, the Hamburg Open, an ATP 500 event, a big event on the calendar. Last year, it was a lead into the French Open. This year, it's after Wimbledon. It's one of the last clay court events of the year, and it's a big, big event. Who do you think is going to win this one, though? Let me know down in the comments below. We've got City Pass playing. You think he's going to regain some form, having just made the French Open final. So having a look at the draw, and I guess the easy pick is City Pass. He did make the French Open final. He was arguably one of the best clay court players of 2021 behind the GOATs, Nadal and Djokovic. So I'm going to go with City Pass to win this one and regain some form after pretty poor performance at Wimbledon. Again, let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one. Hamburg Open, one of the last clay court events of the season, and City Pass, he's going to be playing.